KLBK's Celebrating Women is proudly sponsored by the YWCA's Women of Excellence. She is one of the most well-known names in Texas when it comes to women's basketball and for her passion and education. She's one of the top 50 Division I winningest coaches of time, all time by percentage according to the NCAA. We talked to former Lady Raider basketball coach Marcia Sharp. Well, I think in any profession you choose, um, the most important thing is to gauge your passion for it because if you're not passionate about it, you're not going to work hard enough to make it happen. Former Lady Raiders basketball coach Marcia Sharp began her passion for basketball in high school just up the road in Tulia. Then she carried it into college at Wayland Baptist as a flying queen is where she says she found her desire to be a coach. I was under Harley Redden and Dean Weiss there, which were both blessings for me because uh, they were both in the Hall of Fame, great coaches, and right there um, 25 miles from Tulia. And I got to kind of learn how to be a coach. She began her coaching career as the head coach for the Lockney Lady Longhorns, leading them to three district titles. I just got such a great start and went to Lockney High School, had a fabulous experience for six years over there coaching high school kids, had an amazing community around me. Coach Sharp came to Texas Tech as an assistant, then moved up after a year as only the fourth head coach in Lady Raider history. From 1982 to 2006, she had a winning record of 572 wins, 189 losses, which is a 75% winning record. You start with 200 people in a gym to watch you play, and you go to 13,000 or whatever the last few years I coached. That's just such a special thing to be a part of and watch it grow and watch people have an appreciation for a women's sport. Sharp's crowning moment was the 1992-1993 season where the Lady Raiders won the national championship over Ohio State. I don't think there would ever be a substitute for winning a national title as far as being a highlight of your professional career. I mean, that's something that you really can't explain to someone who hasn't had a, an opportunity to do it. And, it was just such an amazing experience for me and particularly, I think, for those kids. When Sharp retired in 2006, she had a 99% graduation rate for her athletes, but she didn't stay retired long. She founded the Sharp Academy in 2008, then went back to Texas Tech as Associate Athletic Director in 2011. Which is a, an academy for dyslexic kids here in Lubbock. It's an accredited high school. You can go there as young as you need to and graduate from high school there if you want. They're brilliant and do great things and um, most of the graduate high school graduates out there are going to college which was really not even an option for them before. Coach Sharp still enjoys watching games and especially loves watching her former players who are now coaches. I, I love to watch their mentality on the bench and how hard they work with their players and, and know how much of an impact they're having on their lives. You know, basketball is a piece of it but certainly the lasting impact that that coach can have is uh, really special for me to watch them get to enjoy and, and create, and um, it's a really it's a really great thing. In 2018, Coach Sharp was inducted into the Wayland Baptist University Hall of Honor, and earlier this month, she was inducted into the Texas Tech University Ring of Honor. Really, uh, I think my career were, was a just a, a series of, of really special moments. Coach Sharp does amazing things for our community. She is a great recruiter for Texas Tech. Hi, Kelby. And she also um, is a philanthropist, so she does a lot of great things for Lubbock itself. Something that really stood out to me is something that Coach Sharp actually said in 1993 to a packed Jones Stadium after returning from winning that national title. She said, quote, they reached deep down inside and took their game to a totally different level, and they should be an example to all of us that if you have a great commitment, any dream you have can come true even a national championship. Well, Vernita